Hello and welcome. I'm Patrick Curtis, Chief Monkey of Wall Street Oasis, and this is Monkey to Millions, a show where you get a front row seat as I mentor young students and professionals to try and help them break into their dream jobs. In the first cohort, you'll meet four students, all preparing for intense job interviews while trying to also balance a personal life and schoolwork. The goal of this show is to shine a light on the struggles of trying to break into competitive positions with a non-traditional background and to give you a roadmap for your own success. My hope is that as you get to know these four impressive students, you are inspired to dream big. Remember, these are real people and this is their true story. Let's get to it. In this session, Victor shares how his life has changed since starting training at Fidelity in their asset management division. We learn about his upcoming SIE, Series 7, and Series 66 exams, but one major piece of news looms large and may change everything. Enjoy. All right, Victor, since the last time we talked, I assume you have started Fidelity, uh, the job. So tell me, give me an update, what's going on, um, and then we'll go from there. Absolutely. First, it's really, again, nice to see you after like a few months. Um, it's been a crazy kind of schedule. Uh, we just hit the ground running. Uh, Doe Fidelity is kind of established in a, a brokerage firm. They have all the training in place. We have to kind of just, just trust the process. It is a uh, lot of work, but it's very interesting. Uh, they kind of walk people through it. They assume that not everybody knows anything about finance. They kind of hold your hand and they kind of walk you through the basic understanding, basic concepts so that you can be comfortable. They put you on the phone because everybody works uh, from home now mostly. Yeah. Um, so it's been uh, it's been a very interesting process getting the benefits, talking about uh, you know the stuff that is going on in Fidelity, whatever role and expectations are. Uh, the issue with Fidelity is that uh, as a brokerage firm, it requires you to have certain licenses. Yeah. So and, where are you on studying for those and, and all that? Uh, I am starting with my SIE. Mm -hmm. Uh, Because I kind of have to go with whatever they have to, they kind of put the process, you know, the place and I have to kind of follow that process. Yeah, that's the core, for people who are listening, the SIE is kind of the core base uh, examination you have to pass first before you can do the top off exam. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So that's new as of two or three years ago, I think. And okay, so tell me, so are you, have you taken it? Do you have it scheduled? What's going on? And so we are actually starting, so they started this intro to licenses. And we are, I'm in the middle of that. So we'll actually start the whole process towards the end of October, early November. And they give us about eight weeks, November 1st, all the way to end of December and possibly the first week of January. So we get to take SIE, um, the top of exams, as you said, uh, seven and six to six. Mm-hmm. Though I I was told that uh, compared that uh, uh, 66, six, seven, mostly seven to like MCAT. You need to have understanding of like psychology, you know, molecular biology. And Options, everything. All, yeah. Everything. everything Series everything. seven's harder. Yeah. Yes. But SIE, I told me, it's kind of like, you know, a kind of dip in your fit in the water. This is a secular industries and this is the understanding of basic financial concepts. So if they get that out of the way, then they kind of stretch it out for six weeks for, uh, and seven, six to eight weeks for, uh, six weeks. Yeah. Six weeks, excuse me for um uh, seven and then about two to three weeks for so the when did you started with when did you start with them exactly again i started with at the end of august so august so september all of september so about about five weeks or six yes weeks about now. five weeks yeah and so what's going on like what have you been doing just like compliance all this stuff yes exactly basic compliance training introduction to fidelity orientation yeah this is how you talk to customers this is what we believe and a kind of bunch of zoom meetings since everybody working from home mm-hmm. you know the benefits introduction and all that stuff career uh, pr- progression what your role expectation are and everything and here and there we kind of shadow people what the role would look like but you're collecting a paycheck now Oh, I do. I do that. <laughs> that is, and that, thanks to you. I, I appreciate that. I uh, I don't have to work anymore. Three jobs. Uh, it kind of felt weird. Uh, I really was a little bit down on myself that I graduated nice college, but here I am again, you know, oh, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, you got to right, yeah, get in the, you got to talk to the right people, get in the right channels. And now you're in that right channel and uh, getting some pay. So you have no idea how much you've helped me through that LinkedIn. And now, whatever you taught me, I'm using that because within the company, I kind of reach out before anyone tell me anything. I set up like 10, 15 minutes. Hey, I'm interested in this role. Looking down about a year down the line, I'm kind of putting the 
what is a good the saying feelers, is like the a, feelers yeah, exactly and the carts before the horse here or yeah. yeah but i try to kind of see like hey kind of get my voice out there this is what i'm trying to understand i always kind of uh, say hey i learned this from patrick and push patrick i do you know the wso he's my mentor <laughs> i usually always use that kind of little thing oh, okay yeah. good you know some people know some they don't but yeah it's been a quite a journey but it's kind of getting to that level special next eight weeks is going to be like incredibly incredibly busy and they told us uh please plan to kind of set aside minimum 50 to 55 hours a weekly so you got to get through this licenses because without this licenses you don't get to kind of function that's you for the sie the, and the series seven and the 66 and the 66 so what's the order is obviously sie first then what do you do seven seven, seven, and, seven. and the six uh, yeah and then the 66 i think the seven's the hardest but yes. the sie shouldn't be too bad if you study hard yeah i will i will do my very because uh another news that i kind of uh mentioned earlier what i want to share with the listeners that mm -hmm. i'm in the reserve and um, being mobilized to this uh to georgia for about a year and great thing about the company that they are more than happy to kind of work with me they're freezing and everything and i get to come back and start but uh they urged me recommended me to get through the licenses mm -hmm. so that i can get there you know knowing fully well that i get back here i don't have to worry about anything maybe just a uh, maybe for a fresher course or two in that department or the, whatever the you know the area that I'm going to work in. So when you go to the reserves or when you go to Georgia, are you your full time job is going to suddenly be with the reserves, and then so you won't be doing any fidelity? They'll freeze. They'll hold your spot for you. That is that is true. I don't even know what my job is going to look like, Maybe but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't even know. But uh, most likely it's going to be like a kind of regular military job, but I'm not getting as far as I know, again, not hundred percent certain as far as I know, it's going to be like a regular office job. So I hope we get to do this. Like it's going to be actually much better because I don't have any exams to like, uh, you know, uh, when are you, so for. are you going to be able to take the, the series seven, the 66 before you start? Yes. Okay, uh, that's all huge. Yes. Yeah, just get that done. That's nice. Yes. Um, yes. you'll have that. Um, and then fidelity is going to freeze it. It'll probably be like end of November. Yes. Or, December, I, I, January, January, early January. The minute I take it, it, they freeze it and they come back as if I have never left. But the exception that I've had the licenses now. Yeah, the licenses. Okay, yeah. that's awesome. Okay, so then you have a year out there? Yes, almost like a 10 month a year. Yes. And you're going to be doing some office job, which is probably going to be like pushing paper. Pretty much, pretty much, you know. Um, so, hmm, that's interesting. I mean, it may, the good part about that is that you can work on a lot of skills. Yes, which is what I'm planning to do. Like, through all my the financial model. Exactly. Yeah. All of them. WSO, no excuses because I have the job paying good places. You know, I get to work. Does it the pay you job. like crap or does it pay you 50,000 a year or something like that? 30,000? Here's, it? yeah, exactly around 30,000. But the good thing about that, I don't have to worry about that. I know it's not a big, I don't they have pay to worry you food about and board. And exactly. Everything. Board and everything. So I don't have, it's a kind of college, but it's, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. You do like a, except, about no, part, a, except no party. Yeah, exactly. But my part would be WSO. I got to get all this like within a year, put in that 200 hours to get everything that you kind of give me access to. So to get all the like my financial model. Yeah, I think what would be good is, um, well, we can set a plan. We can talk once you're down there. Maybe the next time we talk will be after hopefully you've passed your licenses. Yes. And maybe we can talk once you're um, in Georgia. Yes. And then I'd love to set up a plan for the 10 months that you're there to talk about specifically um, not just the financial modeling training, but maybe some of the networking you can do with yes. other people that are yes. in the reserves or or whatnot. Had you started that? Had you reached out to any? I know you did a little bit of it, and that's how you kind of fell into this uh, fidelity thing. Yes. But did you do anything with like people who were in uh, the military? Not really. I that's once a I found huge it, channel, man. I know I'm gonna go for it, but the minute I found this job, and it's been like a such a you know you know also my personal like a yeah it's a life, blessing okay. yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Very nicely put. So it's been like crazy. And I've been kind of focusing all my like, you know, energy on getting the Fidelity done. But once I'm there, that's definitely two pieces that uh, hopefully the next time we'll talk will be right around New Year if you have time, if yeah. I'm here. So that's what we'll probably okay, from here, then here, I just want to make sure that I get the licenses done. Yeah. And then once we kind of touch base there, I'll be in Georgia sometime early March after trainings and all oh, okay. that stuff. Okay. So I'll check in with you either early March or early April. And from there, we can kind of set it up all the way till December. So, okay, month goes or this and, you know, reach out yeah. to this. I think that'd be good because yeah. I think 
Um, my guess is they're not going to be working you 50 hours a week, 60 hours oh, a week. No, 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 no. I think no, it's going to be 30 ish. Yeah, yeah th- pro- probably around 40. And if but I real do work, real work, that is 30. not really. No, no, not really. No, it's like gonna... can you do stuff while you're in the office? That's the absolutely, point. absolutely, absolutely. So that I think that's going to give you a big opportunity just to build a massive network, talk with people, like do your work quickly in like four hours, and then the second half of the day have time. Um, yeah. So uh, I don't maybe not allowed to kind of do inside the building because of security and all that stuff. But at least I can have like a print out stuff with me and take it with me, study over those like a WSL material. Yeah. And maybe make a phone calls on the LinkedIn or just kind of plan it because it's going to be like a three days on, three days off that kind of schedule. Okay. You know? So I'll have like a weekends and I'll have weekdays that I'll have nothing to do, but, you know, do wow. full of focus on this. Oh, wow. This is kind of an interesting little case study. If you had a year to just network entirely, what's the damage you could do and, and focus on just skill building? Which That's is what crazy. I That's yeah. going to be like what you're going to come out of there like a machine, hopefully. I, I, this is like a think of it as was... like a think of it as a financial modeling training boot camp for a whole 10 months. Yes. Which and... is what I which is what I like. I had like Patrick. I was really kind of uh, angry a little bit when they hit me with this. I'm like, dude, I just got this job. You guys are killing me why don't you take me like last year which i didn't have much of a job now i have a job you guys want me but then i thought about it i'm like okay this is what i've been wanting like free time to kind of fully focus on it with no worries that everything is kind of behind me now with the personal stuff yeah and it's in a place that it's just going to be me no kids nobody whatever distraction no distraction so i can do a serious damage with your help hopefully but i'm going to plan that i'm going to keep those targets and and the beauty is here's the beauty you have your life, if you have your licenses, there's no reason why you can't, you know, three months before you leave, four months before you leave, start applying for other jobs. Yes. Which is what I intend to do. Like you may be able to land uh, an analyst role at a bank or um, who knows something else. If you, if you talk the talk and you know the lingo and you prep for the interviews, we could even have you sit in some live boot camps. And you know, happy to let you sit in on those for free. The financial modeling and valuation boot camp to help kind of re-solidify what your self study is doing. Okay. Um, sit in on those. That's over a weekend. Perfect. Um, two eight two eight hour days. It's it's intense. That's fine. That's but it's fine. like uh, you know, it's expensive, and we're giving it to you for free, so you better do it. Thank you. Oh no, 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 definitely. I am so so happy that you're working with me. I really appreciate that. Yeah. So if you do, stuff. if you're if you're willing to do that, and you could sit in. You could sit on the live boot camp a couple times, force yourself to sit through it. You'll be like, oh my gosh, I've already done this. But then building the model alongside the instructor, you'll be surprised. Like um, just the the repetition of it will start making a second nature. And then all of a sudden, when you do land that interview from your networking, you're going to be so confident because you're just like, blah, 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 blah. I've done this, this, and this, and this, and this to make myself better. And they'll be like, okay, we're, we're desperate for bodies. We'll may it. I say may I say something there? Like Please. when you say repetition, like uh, there is an Aristotle quote. I don't want to sound old like it because again, <laughs> Georgetown has to show, but it is very nice quote. He says that, uh, you know, we are uh, uh, basically, we are what we repeatedly do. Then, you know, uh, perfection or mastery is not an act, but a habit. So the, it is a repetition. So if I can actually sit through them four or five times, I did the same studies weekend that Fidelia assigned only maybe four or five days, four times. But right now, I am far more comfortable without even asking for a, a, a you know help that's help me out because I got the language down. Yeah. I got in you, know, you know what I'm you know what I'm saying. Like it of is course. kind of becomes like a second nature. So I know when they open their mouth what it is that I should go. You know, which yeah. is great. You know, um, yeah. I just wanted to kind of you know uh, show awesome. off what you just said. Well, yeah. I mean, it's kind of an exciting. It's kind of it's frustrating because you're about to start full time and it's I was a, unhappy. It's a pay, I'm it's not a pay cut. Lie. It's a pay yeah. cut. Um, but it's, uh, you know, it kind of delays the career a little bit longer, um, the, the kickoff, but at the That's same time, life of, start of my life <laughs> at the same time. Well, so how long is this commitment for when, if, after you do this 10 months, are you done? Yeah. Once I'm, I'm done and I have come back as a reservist and that they cannot touch me for another six years, which is kind oh, of, okay. yeah. So they, it brings but then me then you're right still in. committed six years after that. I mean, six years after that, it's kind of up in the air. You know, it's not, okay. and I, I get to kind of finish my 
you know, and I retire from reserve. It's not much money. It's for a, like a worst case scenario is I'm on the streets, no jobs, whatever. I can have a pension that I can, you know, depend on other than like a social security and a little bit of like a health benefits. And Got stuff it. Like so that's, that. you have one more kind of cycle where they can potentially call you in. in potentially, support. most yeah. likely not, but potentially. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Um, so how can I help? What else is going on? So it's been like a crazy, I just wanted to kind of, again, touch base and kind of every time I feel like when we talk, I dump all of the stuff on you. <laughs> you know, it's never it's like a one, two news. It's just, hey, Fachi, by the way, this is what happened. Yeah. You know, um, but I kind of, I'm happy that uh, I talk. No, I was going to ask exactly what you told me. I was going to ask if you can kind of work with me towards the mid-March when I kind of settled down in Georgia, I have plays and everything, you know, internet access and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. We can come up with this plan not only WSO, but LinkedIn, like a weekly target, which I want to yeah. kind of destroy them, not just like a cuddle them. Maybe right, but just shoot. have a have a reasonable target that you can exactly, hit, exactly, can exactly. It's like I need to make like a 40 calls and this is what expected of me. Like well, not weekly. Hours. That's that's not reasonable. You won't do 40 calls a week. Mm, I was giving that one. <laughs> <laughs> just an example, just an example. But you know? five yeah. calls, I think is a good, you know, I, several hundred connection requests yeah uh, something you know, like that yeah. something like that so, so you you will guide me through that that would be yep. awesome you know and yep. then uh towards the end if i do like i'm i'll be probably done by the may with pretty much everything that wso at least the first time and if you can like i sit you know set me up for like early june for that you know boot camps and maybe once yep. a month, whenever I can do them repeatedly three, four times till I get that fluency. Yeah, I mean, you can get through most of the elite modeling package probably in 50 to 100 hours. Yeah. But there's also the investment banking interview course, the private equity interview course, consulting, if you want to do that. I mean, it, it'd be helpful to know like, hey, these are my goals. I know you have asset management and you have that job lined up. But the question is kind of where do you want to go? Exactly. Now that the kind of it's kind of doors kind of start opening a couple of weeks ago, um, a couple of months ago when I was talking to you, my best bet was like, OK, let's go apply to this bartender job. And if I work here and uh, wait tables, maybe maybe I get a job maybe next year. But now, like you said, once I have my license, in, it's just like a, I my kind of bar kind of got raised and floor mm-hmm. with the bar also got raised. So the worst case scenario. And, and again, I'm very grateful I'll be back at Fidelity. So I want to kind of explore what are the best case scenarios. Yeah, exactly. So I think, um, yeah, even if you do end up back at Fidelity, I think the good part is at that point, hopefully you build up a, a really strong network. Network, yeah. And like, I don't, I don't see how you wouldn't be able to land some interviews while oh. you're there. Why like, after that? No, while you're at in the reserve, like you could still interview theoretically yes, through yeah. Zoom. Um, yeah. And I can't tell you how desperate, how desperate the firms are right now for junior talent. Perfect. And right, if awesome. you humble yourself and say, you know, I'm willing to do it, that you can get, you can get a job. They're hiring kids from, especially if you show like you have the right resume and you show that you put in a lot of hours of self study and you've attended this many boot camps and you, and you show all that stuff. I think there'd be definitely some firms that would be willing to take a chance on you. Perfect. Um, but Perfect. but I think you need to put in the work first and do all that networking and yeah absolutely which is you've, why done, you've done some of it and i think just yeah. having this fidelity backdrop is just huge relief um and now i would say this this additional year is kind of just a, a nice little opportunity for you yeah yeah so to kind of like uh, you know be able to focus without no distraction. pretty rare man yeah yeah pretty rare and again, I was kind of complaining, but I thought I'm like, hey, maybe, you know, if there's a like a, a hand of providence or fate, you know, kind of guiding me through this because it was really horrible year 2020 now, I'm guessing. Well, if you became like an, a little bit of an animal and instead of, you know, let's say you're working 40 hours a week, but you're like, hey, I'm going to do like banking. I'm going to work 30 additional hours. I'm going to work 70 hours while I'm alone doing this yeah. stuff because I have nothing else to do. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to, I'm going to buckle down. And I'm not going to watch too much Netflix. Um, I don't. I don't have any. I, I cut it off, really. I cut it off Netflix, yeah, yeah. HP, everything. Like, that's all, everything. Yeah. So if you're like, hey, I want to just spend this year to really become an animal, a whole year is a long time. If you're doing that consistently for 50 weeks in a row, think of the number of hours that is where you're 2000, developing skills. 2,000 hours close. Yeah. 1500 at least. Um, 1500, yeah. It's yeah. a lot of hours yeah. of networking or funny or yeah. training. Yeah. Like you can really come out of that. And even if it's 
even if it's 20 hours times 50, it's still a thousand hours. hours yeah. Um, so you can really improve yourself um, and make yourself a lot more marketable. So we'll work on it. Um, all of them, almost every single thing that you said, it's just a music to my ear. You know, it makes me so happy and get inside. But it's hard to do, it. man. It's hard. That's like, a, it, it's hard. I've been working right now with just fidelity work close to 60 hours. Now, 40 hours is paid, but rest 20 is just, I'm doing my own work. Nobody's required. You're just, nobody's, re, you're just you reading. I'm reading, yes, to kind of get better and better and better. Yeah, so you understand it fully. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, we can do the same thing. Well, first, first steps, uh, first step first is is passing your series. Passing, yes. Exams. So don't yeah. underestimate the SIE no. or anything like that. No, just just no, go in no. and kill it. Which is why I'm working 60 hours now, but that I won't have any problem. I've been working since August on just fidelity so that I don't have this like a work life kind of, you know, separation. Oh, 40 hours done. I get to do this. No, it's like I shoot as a 60 hours. It's right. just they pay 40 hours. I have to do additional 20 hours, right. which is fine. Cool. Anything else? Any questions? Uh, I don't. And I'm glad to see you again. I hope everything all is well with you and the family. Things are crazy here as always. With the three <laughs> little ones. But then we're surviving. <laughs> Horrible people, those little ones. I know. Oh Horrible my gosh. People. Little, Impossible little, to little negotiate. terrors. Little yeah. terrors. <laughs> well, the, the problem with the two oldest ones is they like don't even hear their names. You're like, oh, uh, like, Ronan. Come on. And the young one's like, blah, 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 blah. And she's like, and we're like, why is the two-year-old more responsive than the four and the six-year-old? <laughs> All different personalities, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, but anyways, thanks for uh for the for catching up. I think uh it's great to see you again too. Let's let's try to touch base, yeah, near the end of the year or early in the new year. Yes, yes. And uh it'll be I'll be curious to hear hopefully good news. From yeah, you. Oh, definitely, yeah, definitely. Thank you so much. And again. Just a quick note, some of the people that who actually listen to the episode, they reach out and I want to apologize on air. I am really sorry. It has just been extremely busy, busy schedule with mm -hmm. my personal life and this. I will get back to them because I don't want to sound that I have much to offer other than like my own experience and how I kind of yeah. came up. But I just want to kind of say on the, uh, just on the episode, people reached out and I could not get back to them. I want to say that I have read them. It's just I, it's a matter of time. Once I get this license and everything, I will reach back out and you know try to talk to them. Cool. I appreciate All right. that. All right. You hear that, listeners? Start hitting up Victor. Just kidding. <laughs> 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 All right, everybody. Awesome. Uh, thanks, Victor. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a Have great one. Day. You too. Bye. Bye. And thanks to you, my listeners at Wall Street Oasis. If you have any suggestions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to send them my way, patrick at wallstreetoasis.com. Until next time.